I usually don't do this. Mm-hmm. I'm about to post, or we're going to look at somebody's high school highlight tape who was not in high school last year. And that is this. Is that his height? Let me make sure before I, before I post that. Yeah, that's not his height. Let me clean that up real quick. <laughs> I had his height wrong. Here we go. I had him at 6'2". That boy is 6'4". Cordell Russell, a.k.a. Baby T.O. Baby the T.O.? The only reason I'm pulling up his high school film is because he was in the 2023 class, so he was a true freshman last year, didn't play at TCU. So this is very recent film. Hmm. I've had a lot of people in the comments saying, I need to pull up such and such as high school tape. Uh, people was telling me to pull up Travis J's high school tape to see him at safety. Man, he was in high school damn near when I was in high school. Not, <laughs> not that long ago, but 2019, like that was five years ago. I can't right. I can't watch your tape uh-huh. from five years ago. But Cordell Russell, I can watch his because he I ain't gonna lie, this is one that I've watched a little bit of already. Uh-huh. He's he's they they call him baby TO for a reason. You don't get that nickname just because you want to call yourself like call yourself that he is tough so let's check out what he was doing in high school and what we can potentially expect yeah don't like that that's okay so we got him hold on let me me get this right so we can see the whole screen all right let's check him out it's at the bottom of the screen Dunk on two dudes. Thank you. Need wow. That. Yeah. Okay. Baby T.O. for real. Need that. Yeah. Here he is in the slot. Dunk on two guys. Need that. 6 4 5 bro. Bro, he just, he smooth with it. And this is the thing. He can run. Oh, you're going to see him that. separate right here. I didn't think he could run. When you see, I hear about 6 4 2 and he about to turn it off right here. When you hear about a 6'4", 205 receiver out of high mm. school, you're like, oh, yeah, he's just a big body. Bro, he can run. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he's catching a punt return. Okay. Oh. Okay. Go. Oh, he got Step on him. Yes, sir. You ain't get Because he starts sprinting, that's a wrap. Turned it off. <laughs> he has big playability written all over him. I'm telling you, I started seeing, I'm like, why are they throwing them screens? His big stepping on them, outrunning angles, stepping. He can run. And I think he's going to be huge in this offense. He's young. He's hungry. Didn't get the playing time at TCU for reasons. I do not know why, because they receivers were not like that. Yeah, they were terrible. He's uh, Shadur going to be hitting them with them fade routes. (laughs) And this is. And we're we're gonna go over the spring depth chart. Look at him on this reverse and just open oh. up and run. And he was a four star. Um, he was really highly rated. I think top ten receiver in, in the country. But something that I really have anxiety about, good anxiety, is our depth chart for the receivers this spring. Right. <laughs> we have just so many weapons. Look at him on this screen. Get loose and run. Six four. He looked like Tio running like there, bro. Tio. Yeah. You know he who he reminds me of a lot? Who's on your favorite team? No. AJ Brown. I knew you were gonna say really. Yes, he reminds me a lot of him. Cause AJ Brown can run. He's he's sneaky fast. Right. But he's physical. Bro, how many top wide receiver recruits do you see playing defensive end? And getting sacks in high school, he was uh, just that. No. That's how big he is. He was just no. that DM. But I think he, I think he is similar to him as far as a bigger body, but super explosive and mm. can make play. Good wow! <laughs> Close in on that quarterback, man, bro. I know he had offers at defensive end. I know that for a fact. Yeah. If he put these three clips at the front of his highlight tape, and you told me he was a DN, I'd be like, them four clips at the front of his <laughs> highlight tape, you told me he's a DN, I'd be like, yeah, he, he got to be at least a four-star DN. Yeah, easy, easy. Explosive. And that's wild. Let's, let's see him again at the bottom of the screen. He got a short film. We could watch this through. 
Underthrown ball and goes up and gets it. Love it. Here he is at the end. Misses initially. Got a motor. Go get him. Love it. Yeah, see how you don't give up, dogs. Hey, it ain't over until it's over. Let's see. Let's see where he takes this. Cut back. Cut back one more time. Thank you. Cut back one more time. Oh. Turn up field. Oh, he's gone. I got caught, but I love the vision. And I like seeing – it's rare that you see teams throw screens to big receivers. That's what I was thinking. Oh, he blew up the ball. Oh, yeah. Six because the whole point of – ooh, love that route. He got pass interference on it, but goodness gracious. The whole point of the screen is you want to get a guy in space that's going to be really agile. Quick, you know, and go. Make people like miss. a Lejante Weston. Exactly. Free play, throw it up. Is he going to dunk on him? I'm sure. I don't know. He dropped it in the bucket. Love it. But, yeah, you don't see – again, Julio is one that you saw it get yeah. thrown to, yeah. a guy yeah. that is huge but can run. And, yeah, he's he has a very, very special physique and skill set at that size. Yeah, bro, he was playing defensive end getting sacks. That's crazy. Because usually wide receivers, you know, people got that, oh, wide receivers ain't tough no more. So you know, yeah, no, he, he yeah, just, playing DN is, is is big, right? So that's again, that's one of the rare times that I'll pull up somebody's high school film. And that's only because he has four years left with us. He was a true freshman last year, uh, redshirted, so he's going to be a freshman this year. I don't think he's on campus yet. I'll have to check mm -hmm. on that. But that's somebody that I'm really excited about as far as being able to come in and compete for in a very very deep wide receiver room like very deep very like we talked about the best wide receiver room in the in the country like easily easily genuinely he could be potentially the seventh or eighth string receiver with his talent wow that's how deep the receiving group is but bro seeing his film unless something crazy happened at tcu where one of his knees don't work no more he got to get on the field Oh, he yeah. has to find his well, way. Here's the question. Field. I mean, who knows? They might put him on the end. You don't, I mean, this dude's got serious that. That would be crazy. That serious would, athleticism. Definitely right? think that'd be a waste you, of you coming to Colorado. what he can do. You, you, come man, to you can have a, a big wide receiver package. You got him, Will Shepard, and uh, Omarion. Mm -hmm. Like, that is a big package of receivers. I would love that as a red zone package. And then Shimon Mateo split out there, too. Yeah, bro, like, we just got big dogs everywhere. That's I call that package throw it up. Like, hey, bring throw it up on the field. One of them <laughs> gonna be up. open, and one of them gonna dunk on somebody. That's all no, I, I need to see.